Hi, I'm Julian from Many Fish Anywhere, and today I'm going to be going through our rod range. We have an extensive rod range, whether or not it's our blue range, which is the and bait range, our red and pro series, and then our remastered blank range. The most important thing today is having a quick run through some of the rods that we make and which is the best rod for you. It is the most important thing at any fish that you get the correct rod. So with any fish, the most important thing is about finding a rod that is suitable for you. So where do we start? Well, probably the best place to start is with our four and bait and our six and bait range. They are without a doubt the most popular rods that we have ever designed. They will suit literally everybody in the country. There is something here for you and I will go through the range with you. There are two rods in the four and bait range, both a multiplier and a fixed ball in both 13 and 14 feet. And in the six and baits, we do a 13, a 14 and a 15. We do those in fixed ball and multiplier as well. I would say that the most popular question that is asked by either the guy behind the counter or the guy in front of the counter is this. What rod do you want to use? What are you looking to do? Well, I'm looking to cast either six ounces and bait on such and such a venue or four ounces and bait on such and such a venue. With that in mind, that's why we named the rods the way we have done, a four and bait and a six and bait. So we'll start with the four and baits. The four and baits are the lighter versions of the two ranges. Basically what that means is it's four ounces and bait. They're an ideal surf rod, slightly heavier estuary rod, a light beach rod. You can obviously use four ounces and bait. It doesn't matter whether or not it's a bigger bait with a lighter lead or whether or not you're still using a flapping rig, for instance, with two or three hooks with worms. If you are a fixed ball angler, we have them in 13 and 14 feet. If you are a multiplier angler, 13 and 14 feet. They are not complete J-curved rods. They're slightly, what I would say, they've got that little bit more flexibility in them, okay? So you'll have a much more fun days fishing with these rods. It's not always about casting big lumps of bait out to sea. This is a fun rod, you'll enjoy using them. Doesn't really matter what coastline you're on, you'll have great fun using these rods. They're not heavy ground rod, they're more of a lighter beach rod. So move on to the six and baits, probably the most popular rods in our range of all of the rods that we make. Okay, so 13, 14 and 15, each rod is different. The 13 foot model is a slightly steelier rod. The 14 foot got that little bit more give. It is probably the most popular rod of all of our rods that we make, whether or not it's fixed ball or multiplier. I would say the fixed ball rod is probably the most popular rod of the two. Fixed ball anglers just seem to love that rod. And we've been making it now for 13, nearly 14 years. So I think we're doing the right thing. Uh, we move on to the 15s. The 15 foot is probably the most popular rod we use, seem to sell in the northeast of England. Um, quite a lot of people use braid with them. The 15 foot multiplier is getting a little bit of a resurgence. It's um, not everybody's uh, choice of rod with a multiplier, but some people still love to use that longer rod. So why and which rod would you choose? Well, depending on the area that you're fishing and what you're doing, that would be determined on the length of the rod that you use. Okay, the 14 foot is probably the best all round beach rod. The 13 foot is great on the rocks or where you need that, where you haven't got as much space behind you. A lot of the areas in the West Country um, where you're on some rock marks where the 13 foot rod is a lot better than a 14 foot just through space that you need. And the 15 foot seems to be quite popular in the Northeast where they like it on the kelpie grounds where they can need to lift as well. You've got a little bit of extra length. That just seems to be a little bit more of a popular rod. Um, the 15s are different from the 14s. They bend slightly differently. They're more of a C-curved rod. The 14 foots are more of a J to C-curved rod. However, all of the rods have got sliding reel seats. They're parallel butted. And remember, make sure that when you go in to go and get one of these, you make sure you buy a fixed ball or a multiplier for the type of fishing that you're doing. If you say you're using both a fixed ball and a multiplier, then the rod that you need to get is a multiplier rod, okay? If you're using both and you might want to be swapping between the two and you just want to buy one rod, make sure you buy the multiplier version and not the fixed ball. If it's just for fixed ball fishing, make sure you get the fixed ball rod. The ringing is really, really important. So, 
First of all, I'm going to be telling you all about our red and pro range and then our remastered range. Okay, so we'll start with our lightest rods first, estuary rods. We've got two in the range. We have an 11 foot and a 12 foot, basically for the lighter style of fishing. Nothing too heavy, one to three ounce. It's an estuary rod. Doesn't necessarily mean you've got to use it in an estuary on a light beach where you need to fish, not at big distances. Okay, so are you fishing for flounders, small bass, a little bit on a surf beach, and now we're blessed in our estuaries with gilt heads. These now have become the go-to rods for gilt head fishing. The most important thing about the estuary rods, both the 11 and the 12, is they are designed to be used with a fixed ball reel and a multiply reel. Winch fitting, rings, designed for both. You can use braid or mono, not a problem. They are a lovely rod to fish with. They are a fun rod to fish with. You know all about it when you get a bite. I think you have a bit of fun with these. So next rod in the range, the Bass Pro. So something I say to everybody about a bass rod, one man's bass rod is another man's conga rod. So one person will say to you, a bass rod needs to be light, hold it in the hand, fish with a light lead, just like the estuary rod. Another person will say is, actually my bass fishing is nothing like that. I stand in a massive sea, I have to be able to hold the rod, sometimes put it in a stand, and needs to be able to cast six ounces. Now, it, but it still needs to be light. So where do you find the balance? Well, hopefully we have done that. And with the Bass Pro at 12 foot six, it's not too long, okay? It's designed to be able to use with a fixed ball and a multiplier. Um, predominantly, I would say using, um, with using mono. You know, we get asked a lot of questions about uh, the different casting styles and will it do this, will it, you know, will it do that, okay? Ground casting with this rod is very, very easy. It will, it will also cope with a light pendulum without issue. Uh, overhead thump, if you're casting half a side of mackerel uh, into, into, a, uh, into a big sea for, for a bass, then yes, it's gonna do that no problem whatsoever. It's rated to do that, it's designed to do that, okay? It's got a 22 mil butt, slide in reel seat, okay? So you can not use it either reel up or reel down. I have seen people using this for light smooth down fishing. It seems to have caught a little bit of everything. When we sent it out to be tested, well, people caught everything on it. It's a wonderful piece of equipment. It's got a lovely tip on it. It is still a J-ish tip, which means the tip bends over nicely. You don't have a complete through action like some bass rods were in the old days, so to speak. It's rated from three to six ounces. Now that is a that is quite a big rating on a bass rod, but in a big sea, you know, which bass, a lot of bass are caught in a big sea, this is a perfect rod to use. It won't pull hooks. It's got all the correct attributes. It is probably one of our, one of our best rods we've ever designed. Okay, so we're gonna go into the higher beach rod range now, okay? The Mark II Pro range. So I'm gonna start with the Match Pro, go on to the Tournament Match, and then on to the GBFS Pro and the Grand Prix Pro. So we will start with the Match Pro. Mark II Match Pro. This is probably the most sought after rod that we've designed in a while, okay? We, we only released the Mark II version this year. Its predecessor we ran for seven years. It was very, very popular. Okay, so the difference between the two, the Mark II is a faster rod. The other thing is parallel butt, 24 mil. The tip, extremely quick. So for you guys that like a rod that is for basically pendulum casting, aerialized ground casting, this is a phenomenal piece of equipment. Um, it is light, but it is quick. The other thing that is so important, as we all know, when we're, we're fishing in uh, areas where tide is key and tips are key when they're sat in the tide, these rods sit around with a J curve, okay? The most important thing, tip sits around, you won't miss a bite. You'll fish with it for five or six hours, you come back after a day's fishing, you're not gonna ache after you've been using that. It will still cast a big bait or three clip baits. It will, it will do everything. It is really a fantastic rod. It's been built for multiplier, so you can use it in a reel up or reel down position. 13 foot seven, I'm a reel up caster. Um, I've not really been a, a reel down caster um, in all my fishing life. And for 13 foot seven, it really, really does suit me. I know quite a lot of my friends who fish with it reel down, thoroughly enjoy using it because they might not want to use a tournament match pro, which has got that little bit more power in it, okay? So, fantastic bit of kit. I've caught lots of different fish on these rods and never really had any problems whatsoever. If I needed to go up a rod, and I'm on a bit of ground that needs it, then I'm obviously gonna go up to another rod, but this really is a go-to rod for me. So, the Tournament Match Pro Mark II, probably the most versatile all-round rod that we make. Okay, this is the go-to match rod. It is also a fantastic specimen rod. 
It's designed to cast five to seven ounces, 150 to 200 grams. It basically does it all. It is a fantastic rod, superb J-curve tip, lots of power in the middle. The thing is, with all of our rods, the most important thing is that if you don't have any elasticity or suspension, as I, as I always talk about, and people that, you know, that might have seen a couple of other things or clips that I've done, I always talk about cars and use them as a great analogy, but this is it. If you've got no elasticity or you have no suspension, you get a bumpy ride. That's no different to this rod. Yes, it says tournament on it, Yes, it casts, that's the whole point. But if you don't have that little bit of give and you're gonna fish for five to six hours, casting every five, 10, 15 minutes, you need something that's still got a little bit of give, but you can still cast it. And after you're, you've been fishing for that bit of time, you don't walk off the beach and go, well, that's basically hurt me. This rod will not do that. Tournament Match Pro and Match Pro, you can cast either aerialized ground cast, off the ground, or pendulum. The Tournament Match Pro, is a five to seven ounce rod. The Match Pro is five to six ounce rod. Both the multiply. We will be moving on from the multiply rod to the next rod, which is a GBFS Pro, which is solely designed as a fixed ball rod. So the name GBFS Pro, what does it really mean? Well, GB, Great Britain, FS, fixed ball. So it's a British fixed ball. It's in the Pro range, it's our Mark II. Uh, the Mark I was very, very popular. Um, the one thing that we found with the Mark I that we needed to move into a Mark II, make it that slightly more powerful in the midsection, and that's exactly what we've done. This rod is designed for casting big leads. So it will cast, similar to the Tournament Match Pro, 150 to 200 grams, which is five to seven ounces. It is basically an, an all round powerful rod to be used on the beach and on the rocks. It'll do, it will do a little bit of everything. It, we make one rod in this range, it does it all. It really is a very good piece of equipment. It can be used reel up, all reel down um, and as with most uh, guys that fish fixed ball proportionately they fish uh, with the reel in the high position but I've had more and more people have been telling me they've moved the reel into the low position and they find they're getting right into the rod a little bit more so really enjoying that rod but that means that the fixed ball anglers have a specific rod that we've made in our range that is designed specifically for them or des designed specifically for you so yeah go to rod okay so last but not least in the pro range the Grand Prix Pro. Okay, this is a new rod into the Pro range. It is a very, very powerful piece of equipment. It is nothing like the other rods that we've made. Okay, the thing with this is it is designed very much solely for purpose. It is a big fish, big ground, big lead rod for that style of fishing, okay? So if you're a rough ground angler and you need something that's basically gonna bully fish through kelp, up over ledges, this is the rod for you. Um, it doesn't, it's not finesse. It doesn't have finesse like our other rods. It's not designed to be a finesse rod. It's designed to do a proper job, which is basically to bully. It's designed to basically put big baits out. It is really, it's, it's the pulley rig rod, basically. You know, you've got a big lump of bait, you want to catch big fish, this is it. Okay, we've also, this rod seems to, have, uh, seems to travel quite well, um, it's been, this, this actual rod, I know it's been to Norway. It's caught um, a lot of rather large fish in Norway. It's also been to Fuerteventura. It's caught stingrays over there. It's caught big fish. That is what it's designed for. So I've talked about all the bits that are the nasty bits. The fact that it isn't got any finesse to it. It's designed for, for big purpose, etc. But I talked a little bit earlier about elasticity. The one thing it does have, it does have that little bit of give. You need to have elasticity and a bit of give somewhere in this. If you don't, you are going to have a very bumpy ride and an uncomfortable day's fishing. So if you're casting big baits, you need to have that little bit of give. It does that have that little bit of give in the butt. And the butt, as I get into basically the butt itself, is still a 24 mil butt, the same as the match, the same as the tournament match, the same as the GBFS Pro. We've still maintained that, but it has still got its power. So please don't buy this rod because you're thinking, do you know what, I've got the others, I fancy that. That isn't a rod that you want to go, I fancy that, I want to buy that. It's designed for purpose. So if you're thinking of going out and catching big lumps of fish on big heavy ground, that's the rod. Um, that is the ideal rod for you, but it will, if you get it wrong, it will hurt. It is designed to do a job. It's not a rod just to add to your collection. So I've just done a quick rundown on our Mark II Pro Series. The thing about the Mark II series is it has evolved from our Mark I, so which we ran for about between five and seven years. I'm very happy with where those rods are at the moment. 
Uh, when, we, when we decide to bring out a Mark III range, I have no idea, because at the moment these rods fit perfectly into what everybody is asking for. But the one thing I will now talk about is our remastered range and why that range is so important to what we do as well. Okay, so the next set of rods or products in our range is the remastered blanks, and we have four of them. We have a 13 foot four match, a 13 10 tournament match, the 14 foot big beach, and a 14 two tournament rock. Now, where do these rods fit in? Well, okay, going back a number of years, our original rods were all derived from those four rods. Uh, as, as time has progressed, we've gone from tapered butts into parallel butts. However, there's a lot of people that liked the original rods and wanted something, if we still did them, whether or not we could still provide something for those people. So what we decided to do was make them in a blank format. So we've made them in blank format with the new materials, but worked on the same mandrels. So people now have the option to either get one of these blanks, they can then get it built for themselves. We also use a very well-known a rod builder in Wales called Di Llewellyn. Um, he likes to do lots of funky things with our blanks, so anyone that fancies something different, he's your man. So the reason these have been very popular is because you can actually have these built, fixed ball multiplier, reel up, reel down, etc. all the nice fangled colours that you want, okay, you have the option to do that. Um, they're, they're perfect add-on to our uh, product range. So each rod is very different. The 13 foot four match, the original match rod, still very popular. Uh, 1310, the, which is where the tournament match has basically started to where we are now with the Mark II Tournament Match Pro. Uh, the Big Beach, probably one of the most popular fixed ball rods that we ever made. Um, it was similar to the GBFS Pro, uh, had a nice big midsection, but did bend. So that's still a very popular rod. Tournament Rock, this really sits in between the Tournament Match Pro Mark II and the Grand Prix Pro. The big difference is this has got a very nice tip, whereas the Grand Prix Pro tip is a very, very powerful tip. This is more of a J to C curve rod, whereas the Grand Prix Pro is very much more uh, a C curve powerful rod. So the tournament rocks are 125 to 200 grams. Guys use these on the tournament field as well. Um, so there's a little bit of something there for everybody. Um, if you want something different, it doesn't quite fit out of the Pro range, then have a look at the remastered range and you can have them built for however you like. So hopefully I've given you a quick insight into the blue range, the, the four and baits and the six and baits, the red range, pro range and the remasters. So if you're looking for one of our rods, hopefully there's something in there that you might like or something you might be interested in, your next purchase. However, if you're not quite sure, we're pretty old fashioned in our approach. So if you want to pick the phone up and give us a call, please do so. If you're a Facebook user, please contact us via there. If not, we're also on Instagram. We also have a number of ambassadors on our website. Those guys are really, really approachable as well. We wouldn't have them involved with us if they weren't. So please get in touch with them as well. All of our contact details are in our video description below.